Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode of the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. Today we are going to be playing as Cody Travers. And my oh my, do we have another character returning to Street Fighter 5. And Cody uh, is a guest character in this game because he is based on his Final Fight 1 incarnation. So let's go in. I'm going to play him with his black pants. Uh, Cody's a very interesting character in this game. Um... He doesn't play a lot like a Street Fighter character. He does play a lot like he does in Final Fight. Uh, which means some weird wacky hitboxes. Because, you know, you're trying to blend genres together because Cody was originally trying to beat him up. Anyway, his special moves, uh, he has a Hurricane Punch, which I hope comes back. Uh, he has the uh, Cyclone Kick, which is a very interesting thing indeed. And then, technically not a special, uh, he always starts the match with a knife on the ground. And you can pick it up with down, and then pushing both heavy punch and heavy kick. And then quarter circle forward punch will have him throw the knife. Uh, I think what would have been better is if he could throw the knife at will at the start of the match. And then, and then of his own volition, he could, um freaking pick the knife back up. But, hey, that's just me. Again, probably someone's probably already made that, so I shouldn't judge. Although, you could have an interesting thing where you keep catching the knife over and over. That's something. Man, I need some vacations. Fighting in Metro City. That's your, that's your, if that's your idea of a vacation, Cody, then you've got no life. <laughs> you, then Cody's got one boring life. Anyway, it seems like Cody can get combos better than anybody else. His, his moves come out a lot faster than the other characters. But then again, he is a secret character, so is he meant to be fair? I don't think so. I don't think he's meant to be fair. Anyway, uh, one last thing about Cody's moveset is his super. Uh, he only has one, but it's a cool super. Now, it's kinda hard to land due to the, uh, extremely blocky nature of the computer. However, I can get it. I'm gonna try to get it if the computer lets me. Oh no, his taunt doesn't give him meter. What the fuck? Um, have we had a character like that before? I think that was... Either Gen or Furry. It must have had to been them. Or no, it was Geki. It was Geki that had that problem. Fuck. I might have to just show us super off in training mode, because this shit's really hard. With so much riding on my fists, this will not be my final fight. Cody... This is why they arrested you. Not because you were illegally taking part in several street fights. No, it's for tar it's for terrible puns like that one. Anyway, one thing to acknowledge about Cody are his ridiculously awkward sound effects. They are weird, they are cheesy, and I love them. Who is that girl? I don't know who that girl is. I, don't know. I need to play the Final Fight trilogy. That's what I need to play. However, beat em ups do not count towards Credit Quest, so suggest me to play Final Fight in the live stream. Because that's probably what I'm gonna end up playing. Or maybe for the fucking Cody Legacy. Actually, I think Max would do that. I think Max may or may not do the uh, Cody Legacy. I think Max is gonna do it. Just because. Max kind of cares about Cody. Please, Furry. Come on. Furry does not wish to see amazingness. Furry's an asshole. Furry's like, oh, I'm just gonna block your super over and over. Alright, Retsu. Retsu, this is gonna be the final time I lay eyes on you for quite a while. So, uh, get to the fuck up. Have your eyes fucking ready to go to the damn void. 
fuck. That's the one time I didn't want something to combo. God damn. Cody's combo game is not fair at all. Cody's combo game is just ridiculous. Oh, that was just like a regular uppercut. You fucking kidding me? Damn it, Lance. There we go. It's Guy! Guy shows up and then helps you in this 30-hit uh, random. And although Guy's sprite is a whole lot weirder than Cody's, it's pretty cool having Guy show up. Especially because Guy would then show up in Street Fighter Alpha. Speaking of Street Fighter Alpha, look at that costume you're rocking for you. Still as wacky as usual. Anyway, the Cyclone Kick works best when people are right up next to you. Also, let's just talk about Cody and Street Fighter V real quick, because, because, goddamn, people are going to argue about me being like, I don't think Cody's going to be Street Fighter V. Number one, we've got to wait for Falk first. I know, it sounds really disappointing, but Falk is like the one, is the one thing we need to get over. Like, basically, uh, Falk is the one is the one misstep in season 3 for my friend, in my opinion. We didn't need Ed's goddamn... We didn't need he e Ed's help. We didn't need that. You know, I would have much preferred just a five-character season pack. And just left it at that. Hell, we could have fucking... Honestly, at this point, I'll fucking take Azan. Azan actually would be kind of a cool character because he could maybe have, have some goddamn genie powers or some shit. I don't know, could certainly be a whole lot cooler than just fucking female Ed. Perhaps even blander than Ed. I mean, how do you do that? How do you make a character that's more bland than a guy just named Ed? He's na his name is Ed. That's how you know they didn't give a shit. Like, ugh, season two was such a flop in my opinion. I mean, some of the characters in that pack were cool. Like, of course getting Akuma back was sweet as hell. But then, it was like, the rest of the characters are not, are not, are not are all new characters. It's like... Okay. Oh yeah. Also, uh, Cody has two versions of, of has two grabs instead of Geki, who only has the one grab. So there you go. Anyway, where am I? Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, Helen or Colin? Excuse me. Rather, rather goddamn Colin. Miss Colonoscopy herself. Helen is a weird character. She's a weird character, and personally, I don't like her. I saved a city and saved a girl. Now I kicked your butt. Okay, Cody. If you insist. Uh, anyway. Then you had, um, fucking... Who's a what's it now? Oh no, that was Ed after Colin. It was Ed. And then I think Abigail, then Minot, and then Zeku. I think that was the one. And then, yeah, honestly, the only two, uh, two characters I genuinely liked out of Street Fighter V Season 2 were Akuma and Zeku. Those were the only ones I kind of cared for. Everyone else was just kind of, eh, like, Minot and Ed. Like, well, not, well, not even Ed. Like, honestly, Colin, Colin and Ed were 
the two that I kind of care about. Aw, oh, you can off-screen guy. That's so stupid. You should not be able to do that. You should never. You shouldn't do a uh, guy in Injustice like that. Ah, you know what? When I get to Street Fighter Alpha, you know what I'm going to end up doing? Tearing guy and you asshole. That's probably what I'm end up going to do because I don't like fighting guy. <sighs> Whatever, I'm fighting Joe who has green hair. Well, both of us had green hair. And then Joe's the only one who actually followed through with the green hair. Cody, Cody fucking, uh, Cody bailed out. He was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not doing that. Fuck this shit, I ain't doing it. Get over here. I hate it when people are gonna inevitably request Mortal Kombat for this damn series. And I'm like, okay, just letting you know that Mortal Kombat has some of the cheapest computers ever made. Just saying, Mortal Kombat has some cheap fucking computers. Let's play with the knife a little bit. Let's play with the knife. Why not? That's for when you just don't care about fairness anymore, and you're just like... You know what? I don't want this fight to be like a fight anymore. <laughs> that was funny. I did the super, the whole giant Ranboo, and then just... Right in the face. That was gecky. Wow, I missed the grab because he walked away. That wasn't even a throw tech, he just fucking walked. Oh my god, Gekki is kicking my ass. Could it be? Could Gekki finally make me lose in this goddamn series? No. Not with combo games like this. No wonder they wanted to keep Cody a hidden character. Because in player hands, Cody is ruthless. I mean, I think I think Cody wasn't really that hard, even with AI cheating. Like only a couple characters, in my opinion, were really that hard with AI cheating. The two that really stand out to me were Ryu and Sagat. Those those two with AI cheating are just. Oh, so fucking brutal. I might actually come back to this series one one day and uh, try to beat the game with every character on hardest difficulty and with AI cheating turned on. But you know what? I wanted the first credit quest series to be chill. So you know what? It was chill. There you go. So, for the first time ever, I made a series where I wasn't just bitching about the game the whole time. It, could it be? Have I finally made a playthrough that hasn't been absolute dog shit? And all along it was a goddamn Mugen? Like, you have to admire the simplicity of, of, of it all, though. Yeah. I mean, I almost did to fucking Joe, but he's like, I'm gonna cling on one health. It'd definitely be a lot easier if I could grind meter by taunting, but... Price, the price to pay when you can grab people.
Alright, here we go. The final... The final stretch. We have a weird... We have the weird, wacky, uh, Cody mirror. Wow, he actually did his goddamn Cyclone kick against me. I didn't grab When in doubt, when fighting Cody, look at the pants. Look at the goddamn pants. higher rate of whiffing than anybody else's. Like, he's a high risk and reward character. Like, he might be higher risk than I think he is, because a lot of his moves don't really seem that safe. I mean, for a beat-em-up, they'd probably be goddamn... Like, for Final Fight, they're probably goddamn amazing, but in, in this game, you know, it's like... They probably made him I don't want to say too accurate, because it's like, that shouldn't be a thing, but at the same time, they might have been a thing. Congratulations, Street Fighter 1, you didn't need to be fucked up everything. What? Wow. You are so resistant to allowing destiny to take place. I wanted Guy to beat up his own friend, but not today. Oh, I want Guy to beat up this asshole, though. Now, I have a pretty good idea after this, uh, that Cody's ending is gonna be him either doing the- either him segueing into Final Fight or him segueing into, uh, jail. Either one. Either I expect him to go to Metro City and then start beating ass, or him getting sent to jail. Either one. Either one I'm personally okay with, because both of those actually happen. Damn it, I wish that would have counted. Fuck you, Aeon. Can a guy have some fun with a fucking knife? Seriously. It's almost fucking 12.30 in the morning. And I mean, like, midnight, not fucking in, in the day. I didn't get a day's worth of sleep in between, uh, Eagle, like, all, Eagle through Cody has just been one long session. There we go, killed something. More! There we go. Cody and Guy have such a weird difference in our style. Anyway, ironically, here's the final fight. Maybe that pun came full circle after all. Oh wow, so I got get him more inside the screen for the last time. I want Guy to come in and beat this fucker. Probably not gonna happen due to how defensive Sagat is, but can't fault a man for trying. Alright, I got the cyclone kick, so it's fine. I don't even want to kill him. I don't even want Guy to kill him. I just want to fucking kill him. I want that shit to land. That's all I want. Ah, oh, shit. He jumped. If he wouldn't have jumped, then, uh, then Guy would have come out. And it would have been, like, at the... would have been on the center of the stage. It would have been perfect. You still got your bullshit defense. 
There we go. There you go, guy. Help me take this asshole out. And for the finale, we're gonna throw him around and shank his ass. Or we'll just keep throwing him over and over. He kick, kept kicking in the dick. There we go. That night, in a special event from the CWA in Metro City. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. These two fighters have managed to do the impossible. They defeated all the other competitors. Is there anyone willing to face these guys? Well, that was fun. Haha. <laughs> yes, sure. We should do this more often. Sure it was. Yeah. Well, I guess that's that. The cash prize will go to, huh? Wait a minute. It seems that we have two more challengers. Wow, it's Abigail and Andre. Yes, it's the reigning champs, Andre and Abigail. <laughs> wow. Hey, Cody, we've been fighting all night. I don't think we can take these guys. Nonsense. These guys are wimps. I mean, of course. Ah! <laughs> Uh, you were saying? Um, okay, this is bad. Wow, the ending is just them getting bodied. Wow, the young fighters are caught off guard by the champs. It doesn't look good for them. Are they about to get fucking pinned? Oh boy, now it looks like the champs are gonna finish them off. Cyclone kick. Not so fast, big boy. Wow, Mike Hagar shows up? Ah! No one hit those two besides me. That voice, it sounds like... It sounds like Mike Hagar! You guys aren't friends! I couldn't help but notice that you two needed some help there. This shit's like pro wrestling, what the fuck? Haha, <laughs> thanks Mike. We were just too exhausted to fight those guys. Maybe they should have had Mike Hagar because of Saturday Night Slam Masters. Yeah, thanks Mike, but one question, how the heck did you take out both of them at the same time? Huh, <laughs> easy, I had help. Really? Jessica, you helped us? Okay, so that's her name. Okay. Why so surprised? I can't be the daughter of the Green Mac Hagar and not know how to fight a little. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, was, I couldn't hurt, let them hurt my man. And besides, you were supposed to take me shopping tonight, so let's go, buddy. What, shopping? No, anything but that. Mike, help me out here. Talk to her. She's your daughter. Uh, that may be true, but she is your girlfriend. You're on your own. Ooh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, we got a secret ending? Damn. Shit. Alright. I guess maybe because I beat every, uh, maybe because I beat it with every character. Oh, my Kagar for the mayor. But okay, there you go. Anime. Holy shit. There you go. Secret ending, okay. Congrats, you are Cody Master. See you in our next project, the end. I've never seen this before. Okay. But there you go, that is Street Fighter 1. It is over. Uh, that was a weird, wacky ending we just had there, but you know what? So is the weird, wacky nature of this game. And let's see Joe get body. <laughs> Yeah, Joe's gonna get body in my to know this. Holla! So there you go. Anyway, this has been the first credit quest series. Uh, not the first one to end. That one was King of Fighters 94. But this is the first credit quest series that ever aired. But it is now over. So, uh, you guys should send in your requests for the next credit quest series to do. And if I don't get any requests, then I'm just gonna go for my, uh, default game that I have set next because I wanted to play it. But if you guys have a suggestion, holler it in the comments, and uh, I'll play it. So there you go. Anyway, with all that said, I will see you all next time.